Hi, this is Aaron Etheridge, President of Console Classics. This video is a brief overview of how to download and install and finally make use of our software. If you're watching this video, obviously you've already come to the download page, so the first step that we need to uh, follow is to click this Download Console Classics button. Uh, when you click it, it's going to open a download to the latest version of the Console Classic software directly from our server. Now, depending on the OS that you're using, that's operating system, Windows XP, Windows Vista, and the browser that you're using, uh, Fire, uh, Firefox or Google Chrome, you may see receive several warning messages that you're downloading an .exe file, that is an executable file. That's perfectly acceptable. Our setup file is an executable file. Once you've downloaded the file, you can, uh, you can run it. Uh, obviously, I'm using Google Chrome, so I'm going to click this down arrow and then click open. Again, we're going to receive a warning that this is an unknown publisher. This is merely because Microsoft doesn't know that Console Classics is a publisher. This error message, or warning message rather, is perfectly acceptable. Merely click run. This opens the Console Classics setup wizard. Most users are simply going to want to click next basically all the way through the process. More advanced users, uh, they can do more advanced things, obviously. We're going to click next. This is the licensing agreement. You have to accept this agreement in order to install our software. Most of the software we used is published under the GNU General Public License, which merely says that it's free to use and distribute. The Console Classics browser is actually the property of Console Classics, but it can also be freely distributed. Once you accept this agreement, click Next. It's going to ask us what folder we want to install in. We're going to click Next. It's going to tell us the folder doesn't exist. We're going to say yes, we want to create it, and there again, click Next. We're going to have a, a desktop icon created for this video. You can also create a quick launch icon if you like. Click Next, then click Install. Most of the software is going to install very quickly. Two things may take a little time, and that is the DirectX redistributables and the Visual C++ redistributables. This is a rather quick computer that we're installing this on, and it's going to do it in just a matter of seconds probably. Um, your computer, depending on its speed, may take a little more time, may take a little less time. Either way, you need to wait patiently for this process to complete. Once that's done, click Finish. Now we can minimize the web browser, and we see the Console Classics desktop shortcut. Okay, what we're going to do is double-click this. It's going to check for updates, then it's going to allow us to log in. The quickest way to test our service and to start playing games is to simply log in as guest. So that's what we're going to do for this video. You're going to see a little splash screen. All right, this is encouraging you to uh, upgrade your free membership to a full membership. Obviously, the more full members we have, the more games we can offer. When you get into the browser, the sections that are available to free customers are highlighted, and they're very obvious. These darkened systems are systems that are available to full members only. Free users can browse these games, but they cannot play them. Before you launch a game, you may want to open the control section and familiarize yourself with the controls for the system you're about to play. For instance, I'm about to load a Nintendo game. We'll go to NES. We can see that up is up, down is down, etc., etc. Start is enter, A is Z, B is X. Now that we know what the controls are, we'll go home. We're going to go to Nintendo. And for all the avid fans out there, I click L, and we're going to scroll down to The Legend of Zelda. We click the play button. It connects to our server, loads the game, and there is Legend of Zelda in all its glory. When we're done playing the game, we simply close the window. The browser opens back up. We can go home. And we can select another game. Now, if you want to see what full members have access to, you can do that at any time by clicking the uh, system and simply scrolling through the list of games. Uh, keep in mind, free players can see these games. They cannot play them. Uh, you'll notice throughout the browser here and there, Upgrade Now buttons. If you do not have a free account, the Upgrade Now button will take you to the Sign Up page and allow you to sign up for a free account, and then you will have the option to upgrade. If you have a free account and are logged in with that account, the Upgrade Now button will take you to the page where you can upgrade from a free account to a full account. Um, you know, the, the free systems are unlimited. You can play them for as long as you like, as much as you want. Uh, when you decide to upgrade, That'll be wonderful. Go ahead and upgrade, and you'll have complete access to everything we offer. Uh, really, that's pretty much the end of this video. I think uh, you should be able to now download and install our software, as well as start launching games and enjoying the classics that we offer. So uh, I really hope you enjoyed this video.